they make a reference to idiopathic hypersomnia, which is her diagnosis. Uh, in a, if, when we look into it, she gets diagnosed by going through an MSLT, uh, multiple sleep latency test, which you know most people who are diagnosed with either narcolepsy or IH go through this test. Um, and then it's the results are very clear. She has IH. Um, but Kathy Parker kind of says, well, we only use this because, um, you know, we didn't know what the issue really was. That kind of shows how IH is viewed by sort of the conventional physician or other medical provider. And that is, you know, it's sort of, well, we can't figure you out. So we're just going to put you in this category here. And I, you, we find out that, that there are a lot of people who have this vague label <laughs> applied to them. And, and it means that they have all kinds of trouble getting insurance coverage for their medication. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have, even to have doctors take them seriously. Um, you know, it, it, it's kind of puts them in this kind of, in between space of like, we know that you have something, but we just don't know what it is. 